guys so today I'm gonna be doing an eyebrow tutorial um, yeah I'm just gonna be showing you guys how we do my eyebrows it's very easy and it's very self-explanatory I guess well for me it is because I know what I'm doing but for other people it may not be I know that when you first do fill in your eyebrows it's gonna look really weird and like really dramatic and like really cartoon like at first but I promise you it's not gonna look like that you'll get used to it and I'll teach you guys how to do it like really like more natural so yeah, um, I only use two products. I should put on my eye makeup first and then do it. But I have to have my brows on. Okay, so you guys know, I think you know my two products if you watched my, if you watch my videos. So yeah. I just switch one thing, and that's my eyebrow brush once in a while to see. Like I really like tight ones that are pretty firm like this for example that's the only thing that I change I use the Anastasia dip brow pomade in soft brown um, I always use this in tutorials and yes it lasts for a very very long time um, and then here's the back of it Um, that's what it is, and then I use this to set my brows. This is a tinted brow gel. It's by Maybelline. Um, it's a brow drama sculpting brow mascara in soft brown. And yeah, so this is what I use all the time. And then I there's this the spoolie is like awesome because it's like in the shape of eyebrow hair, so it makes it look even more natural. And then this is like the glue. This is like so the brow stuff doesn't smear because sometimes it does smear and then I just use this L'Oreal brow, brow stylus I've had this for forever um, if you watch my older videos videos you'll see me using this but yeah I just use the spoolie for my brows and then once in a while like barely I'll use the uh, the this part so this stuff goes a long way so that's why um, there's still a lot left you only need a teensy amount of it and yeah so I'm just gonna dip my brush in here really nothing coming off so this is how much I put on barely anything and if you want to take the excess off I use the lid and I still at the edge I just slowly like put it like very rectangular so I'm gonna teach you how I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys how I start I start by drawing the line over here first and then I'm gonna go make the tail a little bit that's for starters that's how I start and then I just quickly fill it in with little brow strokes brow strokes then I just shape them however I want now, I would go with the natural shape of your brows. Don't do, like, if you don't have uh, rounded brows, like, over here, don't, I mean, no one really does, but, like, I go ahead and do rounded brows, but just my preference is to go uh, with your natural brow shape. And yeah, I'm just filling in the little sparse areas and just flicking this part out, doing it the way I like them. Now you can go ahead and like go over over here a little bit if you like a thicker brow but I like the kind of medium th thin to medium brow I used to love big eyebrows like Cara Delevingne like really dramatic but I just like the thinner medium brows now because I don't know I feel like it looks better for my face then I take the excess with what whatever excess product is on the brush and fill in the front but make this part lighter because your natural eyebrows are lighter here and then it goes darker here so yeah and I like to just like push the brush up or go like that sometimes sometimes I'll like extend this part like I've been doing that recently like that like push it up if you're wondering where your brow starts it should start where your nose starts like right there And then I take the spoolie just to blend it out so it's more natural. Like this. And down. 
And if you have those like brow hairs that are like kind of stuck over here or something, take a concealer a concealer and like a concealer brush. I just use this one from the Naked palette like this and I sculpt my brows out. Um, and yeah, that needs a cleaning. It's really gross. But yeah, just make sure to blend it in too because that's a really good trick if you want them to look more natural and I like them more natural brows. Yeah guys, I would have showed you how to do this um, when I had my makeup, my eye makeup on, but I'm just going to show you guys how I do it because I do it right after my foundation. And yeah, so I'm just going to do a, a fast, I'm just going to do this brow fast because you guys already know how to do that. Um, so I'll give you guys like a brief little tutorial. My natural brows are angled, so... I just accentuate that arch. So your arch should be right here from where your nose is. Your tail should be here and then the front should be where your nose starts. The little contour. My brows are the most time consuming parts of my makeup so that's why I try to get them out of the way. Or I'll just use that Maybelline brow gel if I'm in a rush to get ready. I'm just gonna blend this brow in. Like that. Now you can go without setting your brows, but I want mine to last like 24 hours, like all day that I don't need to touch it up or anything. So I like to go and set it. Like you, this thing, if you didn't shower or anything, which is a little gross, um, it would stays for a really long time. And it's hard to get off, just saying. But I like it because it lasts all day and that's what I need. And sometimes, not all the time, I'll go in with a concealer and just lighten this part, but I think it's pretty good. I'll put a little bit, since it's like the full eyebrow routine, I'm just going to use a little, and just put a little tad bit on. And then I'm just, I'll use usually my hand or a beauty blender. So I just use the front of it, and then I use like this part and just set over here. That's where I need the most darkness. So I'm just gonna take the concealer brush. I'm just gonna be taking this NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector. I've had it for a long time now. Um, and the shade DCC01 Fairclair. Little bit of product. And shape the brow, the tail. And like I said, if you have any sparse hairs that are really hard to pluck, maybe you'll have a bald spot there. And then you want to quickly set it so it doesn't crease the eye too. And it will stay matte. But I'm just going to be setting it with my Equal Tools contour brush. Just take a little bit and... Alright, so I'll come back to you when I'm done with my the rest of the, my fights.